In recent years, new laws have paved the way for more prescribed burns in parks and in the 1.2 million acres of the Redwood Range that are still privately owned. This includes places where redwoods are harvested to meet consumer demand, like here, where fire is just one tool being used to give the forest a helping hand. The hardest dance. Hey, Steve, hold on. In this active timberland, Steve and Marie have identified a few redwoods to be left to grow into old giants with big benefits. There are a relatively few number of giant trees that do the bulk of the work in terms of supporting canopy level biodiversity, in terms of long-term carbon sequestration. So if you leave these giants in the forest, they could actually have a positive effect on the regeneration of the youngsters. Becoming a giant can take centuries. Can you hold this piece for a second? Beautiful little creatures. But they hope to speed things up by transplanting fern mats that fell from old trees in a storm into these young trees. The ferns are ecosystem engineers, and our goal is to jumpstart that process by bringing ferns into its crown. We can put some of the extra duff that's in there. There's probably already animals embedded in this soil. All, All right. right, here we go. It'll be a year, and then we'll see how these little guys are doing. Every year we harvest, we should be identifying new trees and putting ferns in those trees. For Lori, who manages this forest, the fern experiment is part of a broader ambition to change the way that timberlands are managed, offering pathways to profits that are both monetary and ecological. What we're managing for here is to restore this forest to full function, not just for this product that is fiber or timber, When you have thriving redwood forests, they keep the air cooler, they capture fog, they create rain. If we manage them to be the redwood forest that they are, they will survive. If we manage them to be timber only, they may not survive because they will not have the resilience, they will not have the cooler temperatures, they will not have the water that they need and we need. Before logging started in the 1800s, this was home to some of the largest trees ever recorded. And now with this management strategy, maybe we'll get some giants again in the not too distant future. Guided by strategies new and old, the return of the giants is a dream on the way to becoming a reality. Especially in light of a grand plan that calls to mind how the redwoods themselves draw strength from their connections. A plan that includes tapping into the tree's deepest secrets.